We're on the higher level here in Studio F, live from Studio F in the heart of Midtown Manhattan, Fox and Friends, and look who's here on the curvy couch with us, uh, the Republican Congressman from Wisconsin, Sean Duffy, and uh, Fox News contributor, Rachel Campos Duffy. Good morning to both of you. This Thanks is the first time on the couch. This is a what great view up here. This is awesome. It's awesome. Rachel, you like it? Yep. And the studio has a kitchen, and later on they're going to be cooking with friends with your, how many children do you have? <laughs> we only brought six of the eight kids, so <laughs> right. we, we, we thought eight might just How overwhelm you guys. the oldest and what's the youngest? 17 to 1. Okay. What? Ratio. Yeah, we, we just count them one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Guys to, we just uh, say, to "Hey, you." That's right. So, we're, so we're walking around town last night, and we, we only had six. And we go, "God, we're missing a couple." This feels like we're so Actually, small. Actually, it was like such an easy dinner out. Like we were like, "This is super easy." Six only kids six kids. Only yeah. six kids. Do you, you, drive, do you drive a van? Oh, no, I can't a school tell you, bus? Suburb, a suburban. Yeah. yeah, they don't all fit. That, do they don't fit. No, no. We'll but we have a driver now, so. You got a roof rack. Oh, a dri- not, we have a, one of our kids there's a driver. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, I got it. I was like, whoa, 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 we don't have a driver. <laughs> I meant my daughter drives, which right. means we can be in separate cars. Yeah, right. A designated driver. So, right. so, 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 Congressman, let's talk about what's going to be, what's happening at Capitol Hill, uh, not happening this week. There's not going to be a vote on the, the right. Senate bill because of the health of John McCain. Um, and that delay, some people theorize, will help the Senate try to wrestle the votes necessary, or do you think it'll hurt? No, I think it helps. I mean, if you saw from our own experience in the House, uh, the longer it took to get health care done, the more pressure that was building on members of Congress who were a no. And it brings people together to find compromise, because, again, we've promised health care repeal and replace for seven, eight years, and our people expect us to get it done. And so as members of Congress go home, it's remarkable. People who have supported you for years, and you're, you're a wonderful representative, and you, you, you're, you're great, and you're a fighter, they come back at you hard to go, listen, I, have, I, have, I, haven't, I haven't supported you, voted for you, raised money for you, for you to go there and not get health care repealed and replaced on. You've promised me, make it happen. Rachel, um, and, and that's a good thing. Rachel, if it doesn't happen, what does this mean for, I mean, you're a mom, you're mm-hmm. trying to feed all of these children, you're worried about their futures, you're worried about health care. What does it mean for our country if this doesn't get passed or repealed and replaced? Well, it's a huge deal for our communities. And we live in the Midwest, we live in Wisconsin. Um, if you don't get health care passed, so you have all the issues surrounding health care, the things you guys discussed earlier. But if you don't get health care passed, you can't move on to tax reform, which so many of our small businesses are depending on. Um, but that said, I love the segment you guys had earlier um, with the pollster who, was, who, who said one's talking about Russia in the That's middle right. of, and it, it's absolutely true we live where in these places Mm-hmm. Russia comes up because they're mad that Russia is the topic or they're mad that Hillary isn't getting Russia um, topics as well as Trump. Uh, people are talking about manufacturing's up, logging's up, mining's up. Uh, you know, 42 bills have been signed that have been lessened, uh, lessening regulations. They're happy about what he did with the Paris Accord. Um, so the base is happy with Trump. They're worried about Congress. Sure. And Congressman, uh, apparently, according to the White House communications people, the reason they're doing Made in America week this week is to tee up tax reform. And, you know, while it is uncertain at this point whether or not health care goes through, tax reform is something the president is very animated about. That's and right. so are the American people. Right, but tax reform will not happen unless we get health care reform done. This is something we have to drive into the American people's minds because we're using budget reconciliation, these stupid Senate rules. And uh, in tax reform, it has to be revenue neutral. So every tax dial you move down, another tax dial has to go up. We take a trillion dollars of Obamacare taxes to move those tax dials down by a trillion dollars. Yeah, but they still right, but leave then you some to, of the taxes no, in No, you're, you're right. So we don't get to go to quite, quite to a trillion dollars. And then we had the border adjustment tax, which that, that's, that's uh, up in the air right now, but that was another trillion dollars. But we're trying to figure out how to do tax reform and using be budget reconciliation. And silly. Uh, yeah, but you, you, use, you use being revenue neutral. And I mean, the way you solve this is get rid of the filibuster rule. Thank you. You only need 51 votes. Boom. Get rid of it. And we can do wholesale. Uh, are tax you willing reform. to do that if Democrats are in the majority? This, yeah, here's, here's because the you're going to be because, very feel listen, powerless. Because Democrats are going to do it anyway when they have the majority. They're going to get rid of it when they have the majority. We might as well do it now and accomplish this agenda. This, we've won a thousand seats since Obamacare. Right. And Amer- the American people want us to accomplish this agenda. And we're not getting it done because of stupid Senate rules. Well, then if you're going to go nuclear option, just repeal it. Just kill oh, the whole thing. Oh, the whole shebang. We're talking about on health.
Yeah. Oh, health care. And then we can get wholesale tax reform. And then you see explosive economic growth. Families right. are helped. Yeah. Um, more jobs, more opportunity, better wages. Um, and the Trump agenda is on fire. Medicaid, you know what it's like. You talk to a lot of people that are barely getting by, and a lot of them live on Medicaid. And now the, cut, the states that made it work without Medicaid, those Medicaid dollars, is Wisconsin, right? That's right. You guys did it without it. Florida, without it. And now Ohio gets it, and they're saying, how dare you take it away? What's your reaction to that? Well, <laughs> so there's an in, in, in equity there, right? Um, but you know what? We have, we have to, as lawmakers, consider the Wisconsin model and all the good things we did without taking the extra money and, and, and fixing Medicaid ourselves. But also we have to consider Ohio. Um, and how do we have an equitable sure. solution that takes in Ohio and Wisconsin and Florida yeah, and Texas? And it becomes a little bit challenging because you're treating one state differently than another. But sure. our realities are, are different. All right, Sean, Rachel, thank you all so much for being with us. We're going to have you at the end of the show. We're going to make pancakes. What? Pancakes. Pancakes. Delicious. It's like we're tying the never been done right It's going to be unbelievable. And wait till you see how we tie Wisconsin to pancakes, too. Oh, we can't yeah. wait to see. But something that hasn't been done, we haven't met all the children yet. Well, we're only going to meet six right. of the eight, most of them. but most of them. All right. So an hour from now, with that, in the meantime, we got some headlines.